Childhood cancers are a bit uh, difficult um, in terms of the presence of risk factors. We don't really have so many risk factors in what I would say normal children. Children that have genetic disorders, you see them and you know they have, some of them have risks for certain cancers, but children that don't have genetic disorders, which we tend to see a lot in our environment. I think I've only seen one child that had um, Prader-Willis Willis syndrome in our environment that had a, a, a renal cancer, which is known to be common in children like that. But other children who don't have genetic disorders, it's difficult for them to say uh, early presentation. But I guess the issue is that when an abnormality, especially if something is growing and the mother has looked at it and it's a painless growth and the child is losing weight, uh, we should not wait for the thing to get really big. They should bring the child to the hospital for a second opinion. Rather, I, or maybe I should say if there's any growth in a child, any swelling or anything, um, the mothers should or the parents should present in the hospital to have a second opinion before that growth gets too big for them to handle.